Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about dumping Wi-Fi credentials using NetSH. Credential dumping is a technique by which username and passwords are extracted from the target machine. As a digital forensics investigator, you may want to see what wireless networks the suspect machine has authenticated with in the past. An example would be some type of online criminal activity traced back to a local church. Upon investigation, you discover the church's wireless network has been hacked and the attacker lives nearby. You have identified the suspect in the illegal activity. You next need to find proof that the machine did authenticate to the wireless network belonging to the church. This lab requires that you have either a Windows desktop or a Windows laptop that at one time was connected to a wireless network. You do not have to be connected to a wireless network for this lab to work. NetSH is a Microsoft utility that is built in to the Windows operating system that can be ran using either a command prompt or a Windows PowerShell. NetSH is short for Network Shell. When executed, it provides detailed information about the configuration of the network, including the credentials of any wireless networks that the machine has at one time or another authenticated with. This method can be used both internal and external for pen testing, as NetSH commands can be executed both locally and remotely. And what that means is if you have a reverse shell, and you're onto a target machine, let's say from Cali, and you drop down into a shell onto the remote machine, well then you can run these commands and get the logon credentials or that password for that wireless network if that machine at one time had been connected to a wireless network. So there's a number of different ways that we can extract or we can do some credential dumping. But the easiest way to do it, of course, is just to be able to open up command prop and use those built-in utilities that we have available to us up inside of Microsoft. So to begin this lab, just open up a command prop on that target machine. And the first thing we need to do is show any wireless profiles that are currently stored on that local machine. And to do this, we just type in NetSH space WLAN space show space profiles. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And here you see all the wireless networks that this machine at one time or another authenticated with. So let's say that I want to perform a lateral movement on the network on this target machine or I'm at a friend's house and he's forgotten the password for his authentication to his wireless network. I can pull up that password if the machine at one time or another managed to authenticate successfully. So at the prompt, I've typed in NetSH space WLAN space show space profiles space name equals. Now this is where I insert the name of that wireless network or the SSID. Let's give it a space, type in the word key the equal sign and the word clear. Once I have all that in place, I'm just going to hit enter. And if we go down here underneath security settings, you'll see where it says key content. And there is the key that I need to be able to authenticate to this wireless network. The rest is shared that this is not the only way that you can dump the credentials for your wireless networks. There are other tools that are built into Windows and there are other ways that you can pull up this information, but I have found that this is one of the easiest ways to get this information if it's available. If you've got any questions or you've got concerns about anything that was shown to you in this short video presentation, don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.